going on ladies and gentlemen welcome to another episode of passion tv man i cannot stand low vibrating individuals it's not that i don't love you as a person because i know that you're stuck in mud right now you're in quicksand and you're stuck you want to be well i don't say i don't want to say that i was i was going to say you want to be great but you're just not doing it but in order to be great, the first thing you have to do is decide to be great. You can't live by these little statements of you can't do this. I can't wake up early in the morning. I can't go to work out. I can't do this. Stop saying you can't because I promise you that if you go after anything that you want to do, you can do anything. But you first got to believe it. I've had many people that would attempt to try to come to the book club, but then they, they stop right when they get a little close and they say things like i can't do it it's too early can't make myself do it but then i will ask you a question what is your why you want to know why teenagers are lazy and we say this is such a a a bad you know the generation that's coming and we we we, we say like we're going to leave these people with the with we're going to pass the baton to them and they're gonna mess up the world. No, that's not gonna happen. They're not motivated because they don't know their why. Right now, you're paying all their bills. You bought their car. You're gonna pay for their college. Some teenagers have not even had jobs. It hasn't hit them in the chest yet. Sometimes we gotta get close to death before we can figure it out. They say that people change for two reasons and two reasons only. Inspiration and desperation. They got to be desperate. They got to get cancer. They got to get to a point sometimes where the, the all the lights in our house have been cut off by the electricity co the electric company. Their car is repoed. We have to be woke up like this sometimes too. Sometimes we have to be homeless and and let our belly get to the point where we can't we can't even think because we're so hungry. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, being comfortable can mm, it can blind you in life. It can make you, it can give you a false representation as if somehow you made it. And you're not even close. The best thing to do is to go to zero. Take the money you've made, put it somewhere, throw it in investment, and start all over again. Start as if start the day as if you have nothing because you got to have that burning desire that hunger Right there are so many people that go in the gym because the doctor told them that they got to get better And the only reason that they're in that gym is because the doctor told them they got to get better It isn't something that clicked For some people it's something that clicked for me. It's motivation for me. It's like I don't want to be the fat guy I don't want to I don't want to be, you know, sloppy. And I've, I've seen how it helps with my productivity and work. I want to be better. So that's why I do it. But what's your why? And if you don't have one, get one. Put your why in the business. What would happen if your kid got cancer? Or he died today. He or she died today. Or your mom died or whatever. And you need to throw some money that way. And you need to make sure that everything's okay. Are you going to be able to handle it? And if the answer to that is no, shoot a hole in the television set. Cut all the distractions out in your life and get busy. That's it, people. Get busy. Stop making freaking excuses, for God's sake. You're counting yourself out, and you haven't even started. How are you going to sit here and say that you can't do something when you've never attempted it? Can't you see how that's messing your head up and it's preventing you from moving forward? Think about that. So, I'm going to leave you guys with that little nugget. I'm going to go on with my day. Thank you guys for following the channel. Tell your friends about them. Subscribe. Do what you got to do. But make sure that you're not just listening to these words. Hopefully, they're sinking in and helping to change your soul and your life. 
So with that said, good people, thank you. And I will see you at the next episode. Take care.